Some people take their lives Life. when they fail. Yeah. Mark, how do people react or when to. their plans did not work out the way they want it? How do yeah, people react? That's what I want to say. Nobody would want to fail. Yes. Okay. Failure, Nobody plan to no, fail. No, failure is not a good thing. As it's not. It's not acceptable to our mind, yes. you know, our, 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 our system. Yes. Okay. And nobody want to associate with failure. Nobody want to yes. be called a failure. Yes. Exactly. Sure. And nobody should be called a failure, hmm. no matter what you're passing through in life. But what I want to say is that life is in process. So life is from one stage to another. If our life is full of sources all the time, we we'll never know the other side of life, and our stories will not be complete. So it's not easy. People cry, people lose their mind, some they develop high blood pressure, some hate them. So that what called self hate. Some scorn on people. You see somebody, he becomes so very wicked because of what he passed through in life. If you ask him, he say uh, he lost his parents when he was young. He did this. He passed through this. Now he becomes so wicked that he treat people so bad. They are the negative reaction to, to failure. Some people go to the extent of hating the world itself. They hate everybody. They can kill anybody anytime. They can do anything. Some people become nuisance yes. okay, to the society. Okay? Just because something Some, bad some happens so they, 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 have, they have lost their mind. Yes. They, even when somebody has arrived, the, the, the state of losing his or her own mind, there is no more conscience. You can do anything to anybody. Because failure to has taught the person things negatively. So it's okay. not good for someone to take his life. It's not a day's thought, okay? It's not a day's thought. It's, a, it's what failure has brought to the way of that person. And the person will begin to see darkness everywhere. And the devil will use the opportunity to magnify that problem. They say making mountains out of more hills. Yeah. Understand me? Okay. So in life, see, in life, everybody passes through failure, no matter who you are. At every point in at, time. At, at a particular point in time. Yes. Okay? So if you see the, 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 the bulb, the light that is shining, the person that invented that bulb failed many times. If he had killed himself or given up, who would have, who would have lived to tell the story? Someone else would have discovered that light because God has given the vision to give life to the world. Yes. So, but he would have lost it. He tried, he failed many times, but he didn't give up and he didn't hate himself. He was trying to discover another ways to achieve his dream. So if he could try as many times as that, mm. if he tells the story, it looks so easy when we are hearing it. We heard the story, somebody telling his story, how he passed through things, it becomes so easy. But when he was passing through that passing process, through. It, it, it was so painful, it was so challenging, so discouraging, but it takes the inner man in him mm. to continue. That is what we call faith. For every no you get, there are millions of years coming. Failure is just a sign that you are, you are making progress. Failure is a sign that you are doing something. Because if you are not doing something, how can you know if you are making an improvement, if you are going forward or not, if you don't fail? Because if you, if you don't take any action at all, you will look back at the end of the day and you'll be regretting. Had it been, I know, I would have just taken that step that would have taken me to another level. So now, how should people how should people react when they try something and it didn't work out for them? Yeah, for something that uh, uh, failure is not a bad thing, so they should not take this in a bad way. Yes, people should not take failure yeah. in, in as bad. a bad thing. Bad, yes. yeah. They should try again. Because uh, as we uh, discussed before, that uh, this is one of the ladder to climb up. Yes. This is not a bad thing. So through through failure, people can get experience. So they should do and try again, try again several times. One day they will succeed. Instead of getting depressed and try again, that uh, because we see okay. that's the another opening, another chance to open in newly. Okay. So those they should discover. The things and uh, under the things that uh, they should uh, try instead of doing that thing same things uh, you should try another things and you should uh, discover the things di discover himself that why I'm getting failed I understand what he's saying let me throw more light okay he is talking about parents parental influence okay when when the parents influence their kids yes. you have a child 
you say, I want this my boy to become an engineer. Mm. Yes. You are speaking it into his ears. Yes. Yes. He doesn't know what engineering is. Mm. He doesn't know anything about engineering. Mm. He say, I want this boy to become an engineer. He is my young engineer. Anywhere you mm. take him to. What's the name of your boy? He is Kevin, my young engineer. Mm. That thing is growing in him. He grows up, he wants to make daddy proud to become an engineer. Mm. But personally, that is not his life. Yes. That is not his destiny. You as a father, you maybe you were an engineer. You want your son to become an engineer too. Or, or you so, try to be an engineer. Sure, you, you could not make it. So my son will become so you an try engineer. to push your son to into it. Yeah. So, yes. So there is a family you go to. They will tell you, uh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer. My son is a lawyer. My daughter is a lawyer. My wife is a lawyer. This is a lawyer. Those children may not have the vision personally to become barristers. Yes. Because yes. the father or the mother wants. He wants it when he's saying it. That's glory. The portfolio. Self glory yes. is there, but this is not the life of these children. That's why you can see someone after studying law in school, she's out and she's a fashion designer. That <laughs> is her life. Okay, yeah, okay. Exactly. Let me. Let, I have a brother. This is my own brother. From from day one, this guy he behaves like a pastor. My father was just pressuring him. I want you to be a lawyer so that you come and be fighting for us. This guy struggled and became a lawyer. Do you know what? Today he's not he's not using that law for anything. He's a pastor now. Sure, no. he's a pastor and he's doing well in that uh, ministry. That thing that my father was praying and fasting to become, he yeah. just dropped it somewhere. Sure. Even when he's called to come and defend somebody in police or in mm. court, he doesn't go. He said he will go there and be begging the police yeah, instead of instead of going to fight as a barrister, barrister because it's not his calling. Now, do you know that that thing uh, destroyed many children and many young people because they want to please their parents? It leads to, to someone, something failing in your hands. You, yes. know, you know the reason why this thing is failing. So when you kid yourself, have you become the thing you wanted to become? No. So why not leave and try something else Excellent. so that you will stand and tell your story? So that could lead to something failing in someone's hands. So how should people react when they fail? Okay. So when you before you before you answer that, okay. I want to say something. Now, to me, the reason why I think people fail is that people have too much confidence in themselves. Even when they achieve little, they said it is because of my strength. Mm. They are putting God aside. They trust themselves so much. They leave the person who gave them the strength and the power to achieve that. They said it is because of my strength that I have achieved this. That is one of the reasons why people fail. Okay, they put, I agree. They put the much. will of God aside. They put the will of they God aside. Confidence. Yes, because they, they feel to, they have strength. Yes, and the intelligence to achieve. Maybe they have the finance. Over yes. confidence. Yes. yes, because maybe the, the grace was there. They were able to skate through. They now believe that they achieve whatever they achieve because of their own power. Wow. You have not failed. Don't hate yourself. Don't lose your mind. It, it will take thought. It will take thought. Sleepless nights, restless days, you know, pains. And don't resort into uh, 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 being addicted to something that will make you exactly. happy momentarily. Yes. Something can make you forget that problem momentarily. Like maybe alcohol. Sure, or, sure, sure. Or when you get take, into smoking. When you do it as a habit, yes, when yes. you are addicted to it, just because of, if somebody will tell you because uh, my girlfriend left me and that I began to smoke. <laughs> Understand? So since you start smoking, has she come back? Has the cigarette, the smoke produced another girl Your like friend, that? Yes. No. So that thing you are taking may lead to destruction. It may lead to someone ending his life. The person is committing suicide indirectly. So when something fails in your hands, don't see yourself as a failure. Don't resort to safe hate. Don't scorn to people around you. Don't hate people. So how do you do this? You share this thing with people. Positive people, you seek counseling. Okay? Yes, yes. There are people yes. you share things with, they will talk and get out, you are a failure. They will even discourage you. Sure. Discourage they you. They will yes. tell you, this thing that happened to you, if it happened to me, guy, I, 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 I know go fit career. Yes. I cannot stand this. Yes. I can't stand this. I will do something. Maybe you feel that someone had made you to lose this thing. So don't always think negative when, when something fails in your hands. You don't know what would have happened. You don't know what would have happened the other way around. So when the Bible says we should thank God in all things, he said in he said in, in all, all things, things in yes. all things he said that all things happen together for good good to them that love God he didn't say good things happen together for good <laughs> he said all things so when you think that that thing is a failure you don't know what God has used it to build 
you in or to do in your life. So when something fails in your hands, you don't give up. You don't hate yourself. It's not easy. It's hard. Mm. So you see counseling, positive counseling. You share your story with people. They may, someone may stand up and tell you his own story that will make you know that you have not even seen anything. So you say, oh, if someone, this person can stand, which means I can stand. Yes. Okay, maybe somebody, maybe somebody loses his parents or his father or his mother who he thinks that will be his God to make him what he, he wanted to be in life. Maybe you finish secondary school, your, the parents, I'm giving an example, the parents die, after the secondary school, you think they will sponsor you to university, and you feel that, oh, my life is finished, my parents are... And you see someone comes up and tell you, guy, I don't know my parents, but today I'm doing well. Someone will tell you, guy... That's, I, a, that, that's a testimony. Sure, guy, I, didn't, I met someone who was preaching. He's a writer and a preacher. He was preaching, and he, he, in fact, he has one of the biggest bookshops in that community. He was doing well. So after preaching and saying, he was showing us his book. I was there. He said, you think, you people will say, I have spoken very well, say, yeah, yeah. He said, what level do you think I have? Or oh, I have maybe my level in education. Some say you have master's. Some say well, you have BA. Some say you have first degree. Some say you are a professor. He told us, I did not see the wall of secondary school. And that makes his book to sell. So anybody that hears it will have to buy that book. So this man has something to tell us. Then how did you make it? Say, buy the book. I did not see the wall of secondary school. My parents died when I was a little boy. I stopped in primary school. Then how can you speak? He said, I, had, he said I, I will never go to any school again. Because if I go, I have, not, oh, I have no testimony again. So what you see me speak is God that is using me. That is for you to succeed. You must be able to turn your negativity, mm -hmm. that your bad story now, you now turn it now to positivity. Sure. Now I have, I have somebody. Today is a pastor. Just like what you said, he didn't go to school. He don't even know what the school. Today, is the one preaching to people. He has the anointing. Sure, it is good to wait for God's time and yes. restoration. And it's, you can't get it by your power, okay? What God did not give to you, nothing, nobody else can give it to you. So, if you wait, patience is a virtue. It's good to wait. When you are waiting and when you have patience, people will call you many names. Yes. Mm. People will downgrade you, they will see you as you are nobody, you, you don't have strength, you don't have wisdom. But there is strength in waiting. In fact, there are more strength in waiting. And you will learn many things while you are waiting. Those that have patience, that have waited, they are seeing the light. There was a point in time in this world that we were thinking that nothing could happen again. Some people were saying that it's end time, that the world is going to end, that Jesus will come and everybody will go. You should know that your life is not supposed to be one-sided. The story will not balance. Failure is part of life. It's part of experience. It's part of training. It's part of building life to become better. Yeah, I want to encourage people, those who are getting uh, uh, you know, getting pain and uh, get, uh, already got a heart through these kinds of uh, experiences that sure. have failed. Please, don't give up. Try in another way. There is a way to go out. There is a way to reach the destiny. There's a God who is watching you. Try your level best to pray in order to achieve your destiny. When you have realized that you don't have any power of your own, that this thing is not what you're going to achieve by your own strength. When you have encouraged yourself, I think, when you, somebody, have, somebody has failed in your hand, then when you are starting up again, you have taken encouragement. Don't just dab into any decision again. David said, God, should I pursue these people? Will I overtake? And God said, yes, pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake and recover all. That is a perfect direction, and God cannot mislead you. So when something has failed in your hand, and you have passed through pains, trauma, this, this uh, disappointment, you know, humiliation, and, and all that. You don't stand up to dab into another decision again hastily. You don't do that. That story of David has taught us that when something has, when everything has seemed ended, if we stand up again, encouraging ourselves, we should seek God's direction, so that that mistake doesn't repeat itself. Mm. So when we seek God, God will not direct us go or stay. When you have no heart from God, don't take that decision. Don't take that step yet. God can direct you in many ways. He can speak to your mind. He can give you a dream. He can speak to somebody. He can give you an intuition. He can give you urge in your spirit. Do this thing. Do this thing. Do like this. Okay? Write that book. You know, sing that song. Do that thing. Then you see yourself doing it with that joy. 
in you before you know you to become a better person. So you don't give up and you don't stay where you, you are failing. You don't stay there. You don't fall to complain to people. After complaining and doing that, it's still your problem. So you have to stand up and face life and face it in God's way. The best thing for you to do when you go through failure is to stop complaining. So when you fail, don't blame God. Don't blame yourself. Don't give up on whatever you are doing. Stop complaining because the more you complain, the more you compound your problems. When you are going through problems, when you are going through hard times, when you are going through set, setback, don't complain. Put everything in the hand of God and you will see yourself changing from that your negativity to success. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, KCT Online and encourage us. Drop your comments, share to your friends and until we come your way next week, stay blessed.